September 13, 2008, Hurricane Ike flooded 75% of Galveston Island. I got almost a foot of water inside my house. My wife and I went in and we were working our way around in the house downstairs. And everything was real slick as if it was oil on the floor. And uh, we went into the dining room, into the kitchen, forced my way into the living room and, and I looked back for her and she wasn't there. So I went back around and looked outside and she was sitting on the steps. And uh, I said, well, come on, Layla. And I said, we, we need to start cleaning up some of this stuff. And all she said was, Leon, I can't do this. And I said, well, we gotta do something. She said, Leon, I can't do this and she was crying. So at that point, I knew she, she can't deal with this. So we got back in the car and just went back to Houston. About uh, two to three weeks later, we finally came back to the island. And when I saw the house for the first time, I was shocked to see it still standing. But then when my grandparents and my parents walked inside the house, everything that was of value to me and to my parents and to everybody. It was gone. It was straight black. All the toys that I had, the blanket that my great-grandmother made me, the videos, the pictures of my ancestors, they were all burned up in the fire. That affected me greatly. It Everything that I had, it was gone. It was gone. Uh, it brings back a lot of memories, you know. It, like I said earlier, it's kind of like an eerie feeling because we rode it out in this place. When the storm ended, it was like a parade. It was like one huge big parade just going on, 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 and then the end. You could just see it leaving. That's the first thing I noticed when I came outside the next morning before we left out. The sign, Selena's Blue Room, had broken and it flown in our yard. And me as a little kid, eight, nine, 10 years old, walking through here and seeing the sign and the beautiful blue colored bulbs, and to see it on the ground, I said, it's all, it's, it's all over with. Everybody lost a lot. And everybody was in the same boat because it didn't make any difference how much money you had. You couldn't buy groceries, you couldn't buy gas, you couldn't flush your toilet. So we all were even on this island. It changed my perspective of, of just the community in general. For the first time in my life, I saw the community come together as a whole. Everything was just shut down, but during that time, the community, we all came together to support one another, to just lift each other up. Everybody got together and they were asking, do you need help? Do you need someone to stay? And there was a, a bond with everybody, you know. Everybody came together, all races, creed backgrounds came together, you know. People with money, people without money. We we're all equal then. And everybody helped. But as things begin to change, to bring you back to a whole, the more of the separation of power you see. All of public housing was torn down. There are still African-Americans who haven't had their homes repaired. The people in different wards still don't see anything happening in their neighborhoods. So poor people normally get the brunt of whatever's going on. Well, when I was growing up, this was home. It was public housing, you know. Everybody knew everybody, and it was a close bond then. And then when Ike hit, it just took it all away. You know, it took it all away. And I, I'm thinking that's what they wanted. Pre-Ike, you actually wouldn't have known that Galveston had a racial problem. After Ike, the racial part of Galveston has been 
put back in the closet. My dream for the future of our world and its people is for people to realize that there is one race, the human race. In order to achieve that goal, there must be a focus on cultural awareness. This awareness must be framed at the community level, transported nationally, and encompassed globally. My dream will be fulfilled when the bridge is built that leads to world harmony. Chariots are coming, good news. Chariots are coming, and I don't want it.